Use the Maths Data Analysis 2014, question three. So question three is all about correlation regression. Starts off very nice with plotting a scatter diagram. So all you're going to do, I've only put this in red, you'll be using black in the exam, so we can see it clearly, is find the data sheet for males, find the info for males from the data sheet and plot the points. Now you need to be very accurate, so check the scale. Okay, so on the x-axis here, we've got one square is two units. And on the y-axis here, it's the same. So every one square is two. You need to be within half a square to get the marks. And you need to get all 10 points correct for two marks and eight or nine points correct for one mark. So if you make more than two mistakes, you won't get any marks on this. So be careful with your plotting. So the first one, 173 on arm span and 168 on height. So 173 and then up to 168 on the height and plot my points and I'm going to carry on doing that until I've done all 10. So now I've got all the points plotted we can move on to part B. So in part B it's a nice easy one identify the point which least fits the pattern. Well we have a look it's obviously this one that was this point here um, so that is the point 100 164. Okay, now they're going to tell us the correlation coefficient of these 10, so we don't have to work this out, is 0.568. So we want to know what will happen if we get rid of this point here, which obviously doesn't fit. Well, there's actually two marks for this question, so we need to make two comments. So what effect is this going to have? Well, now the points are going to be much more... You don't need to draw this on, but they'll be much closer to a straight line. If they're closer to a straight line, the correlation coefficient will increase closer to 1. So, correlation coefficient will increase. So, it's going to become closer to 1. There's only one statement, so you're only going to get one mark for that. We need to have two comments. Well, what could we say? It's because the other point um, is not in line with all the other ones. So the point is not in line with the other points. You must say it's not in a line. The other thing you could say, it's far away from the line the other points are on. But the key point is it's just not on the same straight line. 